Hello and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. I wanted to give you a really simple and quick unedited update of what I've been working on in the fish room. I'm still cleaning more tanks. So this is not the same tank that you saw in the previous video. The tanks that you saw in the previous videos are actually right over here. So I did clean them. This is kind of what they look like. Oh, this is super bright. Let me turn this down. There we go. So these are the two tanks. And then I moved the Julie de Chromis Regani. They used to be right over here to right over here. So they're next to the um, Julie de Chromis Dickfield Eye. So now they're neighbors. And it's cool to see like how similar but yet different they are. Also, another tank that I just cleaned. And I know there was a request for me to do a cleaning video, but if you take a closer look right over here, let me focus. If it can focus, come on camera. You can do it, you can do it. There we go. If you look, I didn't do the best job cleaning the tanks. I did an okay job. And the reason is I don't have a lot of time to be like making this, these tanks like really perfect looking, especially when the mineral deposits are just going to come back. So I didn't think it'd be a good idea to make a tutorial if I'm not gonna be doing a really good job myself. I'm just cleaning them up like this, so they kind of look okay. They're not like perfect, but they're not like disgusting. Like this tank, for example, like that's gross. And like, that's gross. Look at that, it's so white. So I am currently gonna be cleaning all these tanks and they're gonna go back in the same formation that they used to be. And then these are gonna be permanently hanging out here now. Eventually I might lower the water and move this over so they're all even. I didn't notice that I didn't put them in even and that kind of bothers me. I don't know. I don't know if I should do anything about it. I also will be setting up the 20 gallon for the uh, sorority, which is right over here. Gonna be moving them up here. This will free up this tank for a potential future aquascape or as an extra large holding tank for the breeding project. And my big breeding project is gonna be happening right here. So everything is kind of chaotic right now. Everything is a mess as I'm kind of shuffling all the tanks around and cleaning all the tanks, but the fish room will be back to looking nice and clean very soon as I keep bumping into things. But I did want to show you what I've been working on, but also show you that my fish room is not always perfect. Sometimes people comment in some of my videos, like how do you keep your fish room so clean? And well, it's just an endless thing I have to do. And then over here I'm battling some algae. So the lights are off. That's where the multis are. I am considering moving the multis right over here because I don't have that many and I regularly sell the offspring at my local swaps. So maybe it might be a cool idea to just have them all here and then just have all my little African cichlids in one section plus the blue ocelotus and then my breeding project can have its own section right here. I do kind of for some reason find it satisfying to like group fish together. Not that it really makes a difference but that's what I'm doing. Oh, let me also show you my helpful shrimpies. So as I'm cleaning the tanks, I've been chucking the filters in here and the shrimpies have been doing a lovely, lovely job helping me by doing a cleanup. They're my little cleanup crew. I also have some other plants in here. I pretty much just chuck everything in here and they will clean it up for me. I also added this hang on breeder box for these little nanocara that I'm growing up because they're so small. And then I'm swapping it for this smaller hang on back box that I will be putting Ocelotus babies in here once they breed again. But for now I have some assassin snails in here because my cousin's husband has an explosion of Malaysian trumpet, trumpet snails. There we go. That's, that's a lot of words to say all at once. So I'm catching a couple for him and I'm going to be giving them to him so that they can hopefully help tackle his snail problem because I used to have that problem, but luckily not anymore. So yeah, my ocelotis are chilling over here. I ended up moving a piece of moss out of here and then discovered this like graveyard of snails. So the ocelotis would just pick up the snails and just dump them all in one area. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm working on. See the whole fish room is a big mess. But soon I will be done everything and I'll be able to clean everything 
and everything will be back to looking really nice. So that is my little update for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.